Easy peeps and welcome back to another episode of Started From The Bottom, The Road To Glory. Today we're going to be using our draft token. Every man and his dog seems to be doing draft. We're going to go with the 4 2 three, one. Now the reason everybody's doing draft is they've upped the weights of the Prime Icon Moments card. So that's our objective. To try and get as many Prime Icon Moments in this draft as we can. And along the way, if we can get a high rated draft as well, that'd be spectacular. For our captain, oh, not a prime icon moment. We could go with a few here, but it's probably better to try and save your left wings and your right wings because you might get one of the bigger boys going forward. So that kind of leaves us left with getting Aguero or De Bruyne. Let him dog. Now, what should we do? We go with De Bruyne, of course. Now, we've used our draft token for this. So, this is a freebie draft entry as we get stung on the second loading. So, because we've gone De Bruyne, it makes sense to go with Higuain and hope that we get something decent in the next one. Next up, we get done a little bit dirty on that one as well. Got Nani. We've got... Uh, it's a bit of a mess. It is a bit of a mess. We just randomly pick a Kuna. Right there, next up, on the right, we need a big boy. Can we get a big boy? Oh, we get Umbop. That's not bad at all. Worst case scenario, if we get something better in the future, at least that's going to be an immense super sub. Right then, into the CDM positions. Can we get a big boy? We do. We get team of the year, Conte. And you know we're picking him. A, high rating. B, my favourite player on the game in our normal RTG. Next up, on the other CDM position, we need a big boy. Okay. So that's a little bit dead for us. We just go with I like to party. Just, just, just for just. Just for just. Uh, next up. Oh, stuck here between going for Ramos, which would make sense for the higher rating, or Militao. But we go with Militao, hoping that we get some kind of Brazilian link. We don't. Ah, oh, boo. Go Lindodoff. 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 Diff. Keeper. We get the Brazilian, so we have to go with Alisson, really. That gives us a link to Militao, so that's pretty decent. That also links us to Linda Duduf. Right back. Can we get a big boy? Come on. Come on. Oh, we get Kanchi. We've got to go with him. We've got to go with him. It's not his 89 version, but we have to go with that one. Doesn't really help for Kem, so we need a good left back for Kem purposes. We get the silver. That's not bad. We'll get the silver out of the way. That means when we go to our reserves first we can get something good. So we're struggling a little bit for Kem. We're not too sure if we're going to end up going what route we're going to go down. Are we going to go Prem? It's going to look probably like it's going to turn into some kind of hybrid. But let's get the reserves out of the way. Prime Icon moments, please. Yeah, we get Dal Piero. Beautiful. Oh, this card looks nutty, man. Uh, he's going straight in place of Akuna. Beautiful. Next up, can we get back to back? Oh, we can't. Now, if we was going to go purely for rating, we would go with Suarez. But we need Kem. So, we're going to get Mares in and then swap him out for Umbop. Come on. Come on. <sighs> yeah, we get another Prime Icon Moments card. We get Giggsy. Now, this doesn't look the greatest card, if I'm honest. So, this probably will just end up being a sub. But, hey, we'll take it, man. We'll take it. Next up, can we get another one? No, but we get Team of the Year. Da, hey, that's our goalkeeping sorted sorted beautiful and lastly on the reserves <sighs> oh now we should go with Sane really for rating but we are struggling for chem we need to bring in some premier league players in to swap them out for party so we get one yama instead right then reserve goalkeeper substitute goalkeeper we go chesney next up can we get a big boy come on come on <sighs> oh see so we've got the brazilian link but it kind of makes sense to try and go for the Tongan because our left back currently is shocking. Next up, let's go. Oh, we got done dirty. So we'll just take the highest rated player there with Alvaro. That's a little bit struggling. We need a big boy now. Come on. Yeah, we get Socrates. Now, I'm sure we should probably go with somebody else, but I don't care. It's a prime icon moment. Socrates will go straight into the team ahead of De Bruyne. Next up, come on. Come on. We need a big boy. 
Oh, we get Rodriguez, who's a highest rated player. We probably should go for either Jorginho or Ali, but I don't like either of those. So we're going to go with the rating this time and go with Rodriguez. Lastly, well, penultimate. Come on. Oh, we get Jesus, and that sorts out our striker problem. We've currently got Higuain up front. He's shocking. So at least we get a better striker. And last pick. Oh, we get a better, 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 better left back this time. So we go with Robertson. So that's kind of made the Vertonghen, Vertonghen pick a little bit redundant. So let's swap it all around. So we end up with a 90 rated. That's not bad. 90 rated squad. 93 chemistry is a little bit of a struggle. But we do have some really, really good super subs. So we have Umbop coming on as a super sub. Prime Icon Moments, Giggsy and De Bruyne. And then starting, we have Prime Icon Moments, Socrates and Prime Icon Moments, Dal Piero, Mares on the right, Jesus up front, CDMs of one Yammer and Conte. What a pairing. We are struggling slightly in the centre back position. Uh, and then we've got a chemistry issue for our right back. But we do end up, once we bang a manager in, we end up getting 94 chem. So that's not too bad, really. So a 90 rated draft, we'll take that. I'll take a 90 rated team in draft. That's pretty good. And our top players are Dal Piero. Team of the Year Conte and Team of the Year De Hay. Not bad. Not bad at all. I'll take it. Right then, into the first game. Oh, he got lucky. Look at that. He gets Maldini, Vieira, Littmanen and the Dal Piero. 90 rated with a 96 chem. He's struggling with his centre-back pairing, but he has got uh, he has got Team of the Year Varane, sorry, in the triple centre-back positioning. Hopefully we can do well. Straight into the first game then. So we're looking for big boy, big boy stuff. We're looking for big boy stuff from our Prime Icon Moments player. But we kick it off with a corner with Militao. Nice save from Team of the Year De Hey, We get a little bit lucky as it rebounds off the post in the 56 minute. He's a decent player this. We break out on the right with Mares, And then we try and do a little bit of jiggly so we can wait for our right back to overlap to create some space. We go inside. Umbop is on as a sub. Umbop inside to De Bruyne, also on as a sub. De Bruyne outside to Dal Piero, back inside to Umbop. 2 0. Seal the deal. That's our first round. Thank God we're not getting a first round exit. 2 0 in the first game. He also has prime icon moments Vieira in our next game. He has Ronaldo, Ronaldinho, the 92 Ramos, which we turned down, and Trent Alexander Arnold's future foot stars. Beautiful team. Nice. Wonder who his goalkeeper, the new goalkeeper, is going to be. But Socrates on the ball. 1 2 with Mares just from kickoff. Socrates! Beautiful finesse from just outside the box as Socrates takes us 1 0 up from kickoff in the second round game. Nice play from Socrates. Although, honestly, he does feel a little bit clunky. I know, crazy. He does feel a little bit clunky. Jesus into Dal Piero. Dal Piero bangs it home. Now, he doesn't feel clunky. His shot power is absolutely amazing. Honestly, this Dal Piero card is really, really good, man. I'm not too sure if it's suited for a left wing position because his pace isn't quite there. But you can see he can absolutely bang the ball as we go 3-0 up in the second round game thanks to Dal Piero with his immense shooting. So Socrates so far feels a little bit clunky. Um, Dal Piero, it feels a little bit slow, but decent, decent shooting. In fact, exceptional shooting. Giggsy, when he's come on as a sub, he's just there for pace. He's not the best. Next game, a nice ball inside to Umbop as it went 0-0 all the way to 76 minutes as this player was really, really good. And we do go 1-0 up thanks to Umbop coming on as a sub. And Umbop just feels amazing as he did when we had the uh, 88 version of him. Beautiful, man. Absolutely beautiful. And we go 2-0 up there thanks from a lucky-ish little goal in this game. Not bad at all. We're playing pretty well. We do unfortunately concede a goal straight away, but we manage to hold out. And that takes us a 2-1 win in the semis. So we are in the final against this bad boy team with Team of the Year Modric, Team of the Year Marcelo, Prime Icon Moments, Linica, who looks fantastic. He hasn't got the uh, skills and stuff like that. But honestly, being a being a die-hard like sort of like old school England fan, this Linico card looks absolutely fantastic with his new improved stats. Right then, this one went all the way just before half time before we get any real action of note. Mares on the right hand side plays it to the overlapping can. Hello, going into the box. 
squares it across to Socrates who knocks it across to Dal Piero and Dal Piero gets himself another goal in this draft and I really like this Dal Piero card man really really like it uh, I think he's better than the Socrates I just something about the Socrates and the gigs was probably the worst out of the three there's just nothing about the gigs really he's got a little bit of pace and that's it other than that, he doesn't feel prime, if that makes sense. But we're on the attack again. De Bruyne outside to Dal Piero. Works his way in the box. And just does just a normal kind of shot. And it still goes in. Still goes in. He's just got something where Ronaldo-esque. Where every shot he sort of shoots seems to go in. Unfortunately, though, we do concede a goal. It has his prime icon moments. Lineker with his 96 shooting. Gets a banger of a goal to make it 2-1. But from kickoff, hey... We don't need Lineker, we've got Umbop, Umbop drag back, takes on a defender, takes on another one with a Lacra Keta, gets inside the box and bangs it, 3-1, 76 minutes gone, Umbop man, this card is whoo, fire, and 3-1 turns into 4-1 as we get ourselves another goal at the end, and of course we seal the deal with two prime icon moments cards, Socrates, Nice little dink to the back post and there's only one man that can finish it and it's prime icon moments, Dal Piero, who I absolutely love. Now, we win the draft, but of course, as you know, if you're a follower of the channel, we can't open the packs. So again, apologies for that. But hey, when we do eventually have a pack opening, it will be fantastic, <laughs> I promise, I promise. But it's all about the rewards that we can get. Loved Dal Piero, Socrates felt... Mm, and best, uh, no, not best, sorry, Giggs was even. Uh, so Socrates, just a little bit clunky. What we get? Premium gold or two mega packs. That's not too bad, actually. That's not too bad. I've seen a lot worse rewards for winning the draft. So we'll take that all from a draft token. Now we'll probably end up doing more of these drafts because the prime icon moments are obviously a little bit elevated in terms of pack weight. And I want to try these new cards so that we don't get suckered into an SBC and waste it and then not like the card. Right then. Just so you get something of note to end off the episode, we're gonna, as we're running out of time towards the end of the month, we're gonna get the Juan Hey Jesus card from the foot swap. You need six foot swap players to be able to get him, so we'll do that. Yeah, so I'm glad of these. The reason we're doing these drafts is because if they're gonna start releasing these SBCs now, honestly, when Socrates were, you know, would have been released, I probably might have thought about doing him. Now I've played with him, I'm really glad. I am really glad. That I've played with him because it doesn't tempt me to want to do his SBC. He just felt very clunky. Obviously, my preferred chem styles aren't on, and obviously my preferred formation isn't on, and stuff like that. So you do have to take that into consideration. However, it has severely tempted me to want to do the Dal Piero, but again, the pace is a little bit an issue as well. And so, but we're going to carry on. We're going to carry on and do a few more drafts while this pack weight is still high, I think, because it gets a great opportunity if we do get lucky enough to pack these Icon Moments cards to be able to try them out rather than then getting stung by their SBCs and stuff like that. Right then, so we get Jesus. He's in the club. 82 pace, 84 physical, uh, sorry, 84 defense and 87 physical. Looks very, very good for a free card. Obviously, he will link to our David Luiz and Alisson as well. So we might do something with that in the future. If only we had a mode where we could play a little bit more casually. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, well, that is it then for today's episode. So we won the draft. Just to sum it up one more time, Dal Piero, fantastic. Socrates, not so good. Giggsy, don't bother. And that is it for our Prime Moments draft. Thanks for watching, my friends. Catch you in a bit.